Hi there, and congrats on working so hard to get here. This is now the final project for the module. You've worked really, really hard, and I'm very glad to get to this point. So module one culminating project is about creating a function f of n, where n is at least five, so it's actually bigger than five. f of n outputs one line at a time, each number between one and n inclusive. Within the line, it states whether that number is even or odd. So our example is f of seven. So note that this is valid input because we said n must be greater than five. The seven is greater than five. So what f of seven is going to output is one in a line, one is odd, two is even, three is odd, four is even, five is odd, six is even, seven is odd. So note that it says between one and n inclusive. So one is included, seven is included, and we have whether they are even or odd. All right, so we know we actually have all the tools necessary to be able to complete this problem. So let's get started. And I do encourage you always to do the projects by yourself if you can, but it's totally okay if you wanna just keep watching. So we're gonna define a function for sure, where we define f of n, all right? So that's really all that we need. Now, what is it going to do? Well, how are we gonna write this code? There's a couple different ways. I think of, um, I can think of two very, very easy ways where we could use a for loop. And so I'm gonna go down here a little bit and show that we could do this range thing that we learned recently. Remember the range of one to eight, if you convert that to a list, which again, don't worry about this function, I'm just showing you what it's doing. These are the valid values between one and seven. Okay, inclusive, that is what f of seven would want. So if then we actually change this to n, then well, n doesn't exist yet, but that's gonna produce one up until n. Okay, so that's a good way to do it. You could also do a while loop where we said maybe, okay, i is equal to one. And then we said while i is say less than eight. And then we would actually increase i by one each time and then do some do some code in here. Well, that's totally fine as well. You could iterate over each possible value and ask whether they are even or odd, and we'll talk about how to do that. I'm going to do the first method, okay? So I'm not gonna do the while method because I think as you'll find as well, it's often more Pythonic, yes, Pythonic is a term, it just means like Python, to use for loops for the most part. And most people would probably agree with that. So. If we get for val, let's just say val for value in the range of one until n, so these are our values of interest. Well, I wanna first check if it's even or odd. So that's gonna change the rest of our code here. How do we do that? Well, a while back we saw the idea of the mod operator or module, modulo operator, which basically gets the remainder of something. So note that a the even or oddness of a number is defined whether it is 2m or 2m plus one for m being an integer. That's just a formal way of saying, is there remainder one when you divide by two or is there no remainder when you divide by two? If there is no remainder, it is even. If there is a remainder one, then it must be odd. So you can easily ask the question two, or let's say just for an example, three div, uh, mod two. Okay, so that's equal to one. Well, but for mod two, that is equal to zero. So that's how we're gonna use even or odd. So we'll ask the question, um, we'll say if val mod two, and we'll put this in brackets. I haven't really seen this yet. It's not too important, but brackets kind of force stuff to happen first. So I'll say if val mod two is equal equal to zero. So if this, if this is evaluates, what must be true? It must be true that val mod two has no remainder. Therefore, if you're in here, that means the number is even. So we can go ahead and print, uh, and we just learned our string concatenation, so we can actually kind of speak like a human. We can say print the string, remember we have to convert it into, or a value to a string. So convert this to a string is string of val, and then we want to add the string. We can just go ahead and put a space there, is, and then this is gonna be even, All right? So we print that, and then we can do otherwise, 
that means that this value, this val here, it must be odd if we're here. Thus, we can do print still the string of the val plus is odd. And I'll put a period there, even though that's not what the function specified up there, it looks a little bit better. So we define f of n, and then we'll then call it a couple times. So remember, n has to be greater than 5. So let's try f of 6 is 1 is odd, 2 is even, 3 is odd, 4 is even, 5 is odd. So actually, we'll note that we're slightly wrong. And that's because we did not have the last included value. It wanted to include n as well. So to fix that, we can easily just do add 1 to here to go one more, call it again. And there we go. 1 is odd, 2 is even, 3 is odd, 4 is even, 5 is odd, 6 is even. That is our project. That is our function. It used for loops. We could have used while loops. And we used if statements. And we used string concatenation. It did pretty much everything that we did throughout the module. So I really look forward to seeing you in the next module. And keep working hard. You worked really hard after this point. I will see you then.